Swinburne University of Technology. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone, my name is Craig McIntosh. I'm the convener, that's sort of the bossy person, um, of PSS 100, which is the Introduction to Sociology unit that, that you're doing. What I just want to do at the moment is, is give you a, a brief run through of what you, what you might be expecting, um, what you're going to confront, uh, well what you are confronting now because I'm talking to you through the website, um, uh, so that I can set you up for the next 12 weeks, um, well, forlorn hope that we'll get you set up for the next 12 weeks with a couple of minutes chat, but what I want you to do is take you through how the website works, introduce you to the textbook, which you'll all have, Oh God, it's heavy. Um, um, and then what subsequent to this, what I'll, what I'll be doing, uh, that you won't see me doing, um, uh, uh, recording lectures for you. Normally what, what I do um, is use the lectures that I give on campus so you actually get an experience of a lecture live with real heads, because real nodding heads because you only see the back of them. Um, but in this case, we're out of sync. So rather than leave you without lectures, I, with my trusty director David behind the camera, uh, are doing them here. And oh, this is my office. And this is where I work. Um, David might do a little panny thing to get the Tim Tams in and the other stuff. And so this is this is where you'll be ringing up when you want help or something goes wrong. Because what? One of the things I encourage you to do, uh, you'll all be allocated to a tutor who you will know by this stage um, and so you'll be in tutorial groups. Um, so the first point of contact will be your tutor. All the tutors have been doing this for quite a while so they're experienced, they're um, comfortable, they're charming, they're helpful. Um, but if you not so much if you have a problem but if you if you want to have a talk to somebody straight away, um, I'm the most available person and I'm quite happy for you to give me a call and we can have a, have a chat about things because I think it's much easier to to talk to to you you guys if you have a problem rather than, than do it in emails because I can't be sure whether you know what I'm talking about and you can't be sure, and, you know. So if you give me a call um, we can sort things out. So this is this is where you'll be be ringing me up. Um, did have something important to say. That's just slipped my mind now. Anyway, we'll go on. Hang on. I'll I'll have some thinking, drinking. Um, so you'll be confronted with with this website, this this thing here. Um, the the Blackboard site is is the site that that you'll be using totally and completely for for the unit. Um, down, are you getting this, David? Does this work on the camera? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, uh, I always need di directorial assistance and this sort of thing. Um, these red buttons here are the way you navigate. I mean, this may be the bleeding obvious to some of you. Um, it may be brand new to others. Oh, I know what I want to say. Um, I'll remember that. Um, so this, this, I hope I'll remember that. Um, I do have a history that may cause me not to remember it, but we won't go into that just yet. Um, okay, so the, the red buttons are the, the navigation buttons and they'll take you to the various places that you'll need to go over the course of the semester. Um, the home page, I don't know, the home page is just new and I don't see it very much because I don't need to go there, but when there are announcements, um, the home page, which is the first one that will come up, will note that there are new announcements. There's a what do I do. Um, the what do I do is probably redundant now because I'm telling you what to do. Um, the announcements, uh, keep an eye on. The announcements in the first couple of weeks uh, are reasonably frequent and fulsome. Um, so just watch. Um, on this this home pagey thing, and it'll, it'll, it will tell you when new announcements announcements come up. Um, they may be text, but uh, I'll probably do um, what do you call them? Not video, audio. <laughs> I'll probably do audio announcements, which um, 
Oh, no, what? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, I will. Sorry. I'll do some audio announcements, but one of my tutors says, don't just do audio announcements. Make Oh, I shouldn't say this. Uh, <laughs> but it's true. It's a good point. Don't just do audio announcements. Make sure you write them down as well. So you'll get two forms of announcements. Those who like to hear my voice and those who just want to read stuff and, and get on with it and stop buggering around. Um, staff contacts are just me and, and, and all the tutors. The, the two things that, that are, are useful in the beginning stages, the unit outline and the weekly schedule. The weekly schedule is embedded in the unit outline, but we pull that out because the weekly schedule just tells you about the, the 13 weeks, well, it's 12 weeks of lessons, uh, of topics, and then a 13th week where we sort of wrap things up because our, our lectures uh, our semesters on campus are 13 weeks and, and this is taken from that and put onto AUA but you guys only get 12 weeks. Our, um, our students only get 12 weeks as well, you just get the 13th week to uh, uh, sit back and um, have a, um, a symbolic drink with the tutor at the end of the course going over what's, what's transpired. So. The unit outline just tells you the guff about how, how the thing works. Um, weekly schedule is the important thing. It'll tell you topics and tell you when things are due. Um, and there will be three, three, per, three assessment tasks throughout the semester. Um, now that I've mentioned them, I should say there's the assessment button where the assessment tasks are. There's two essays and a, uh, a reflective essay that's based on a journal that you'll be keeping over the first eight weeks. Uh, in the assessment, uh, under the assessment button, you'll see uh, a reasonably, well now quite detailed, because I've just written it and had it edited by, by the tutors, quite detailed um, multi-page explanation of what your assessment tasks are, what we expect, how we, and, and a couple of different ways of doing them uh, or of approaching them. So. That, that'll be quite useful, so have a look at that. Back up to the button above that, learning material is, is the weekly stuff we do. So there's topics 1 to 12, I've written you notes, uh, which are uh, uh, what I'm going to base the lectures on. So they're notes taken out of, out of the... Um, so I've got to have somebody to perform to because it's always a bit strange sitting in a room talking at a camera when there's nobody there. So fortunately I've got David standing behind the camera. Do you want to turn the camera around and say hello? No. <laughs> so at least I've got somebody to talk to or it'd look like I'm just sitting here going at the camera. So if you see me looking up or looking away, I'm talking to David. Um, the lecture, the, the lectures or the topics they're, they're termed in, in here um, are based on, on this textbook. Um, there are, so there are various lengths. Some of the topics are reasonably short. Some of them go on for quite a while, um, depending on, I don't know, depending on how important they are, maybe. Um, there will be additional references that I've used in writing the lecture notes and they're all at the bottom of, of, of the notes. So where I've supplemented your textbook with other material, I've, I've noted that. So the learning material is quite important. So if you read that, uh, down the bottom it'll tell you the learning objectives. That's the stuff that we think you should know at the end of uh, having read that. And then the weekly activities. And the activities are essentially reading, because please, re please, please, please read because nobody reads these days and it makes it very hard for the tutors and makes it very hard to actually know what you're talking about. Um, so your weekly activity will be to read and then um, keeping your journal once, once a week and the journal is basically about um, your concept of yourself in the social world, what we call identity, who we are and how we are in the world is influenced by the different settings and different circumstances we find ourselves in. So I'm not always a goose like this. You know, in this setting, I'm performing, and, and you know, this is sort of basically me, and so if I get somebody to walk in the door and watch me for about five minutes, they go, yeah, yeah, that's what he's like. Um, but when I'm at home, <laughs> I'm, I'm different again. When I'm with friends, when I'm with 
people I love, I'm different again. So there are different identities that, that we construct in response to the world in which we, we are sort of transacting ourselves. So we want you to to start with sort of a blank slate and go, well, this is who I am. These are the influences that I think cause me to be who I am. And this is what I reckon about me. That's where you start. What you're going to do subsequent to that in, in the first eight weeks are based on the content that you're learning about, which is which are the sort of the, the social settings or the, what we call the social structures like education, like gender, like the family. Once you get an idea of how sociology views these things and how those views sit with you, um, you may have a different sense of who and how you are. You may start to look at your, your identity somewhat differently. So we want you to journal that and we hope that you'll find that there's a progression or a development in your understanding of how you interact with the world and then how that shapes your identity. It doesn't necessarily fix it or set it, but it helps to shape it. Now, last, I'm in Melbourne, so I've got the age. Last Saturday, no, last Sunday in the age, there's this feature article. That working? Good. Um, DNA is not destiny. Um, and this is in the Nature Nurture debate, author and philosopher Jesse Prince hits back at the tyranny of DNA. Now, um, Nature Nurture is a fundamental dichotomous sort of relationship between science and society, if you like, or one of the, the fundamental ways sociology sees how, how the world works. What basically we'd argue is that the social world, um, the environment in which we exist, construct us, turn us in, into who we are. So we're sort of born, out we come, blank slate, and then that slate is written on by our parents, our extended family, our friends, the institutions we, we deal with, and they turn us into who we are. Um, and the, the nature part of that says, well, no, we come in with, with this information sort of preloaded, hardwired, and so there are inevitabilities about our personality that are structured into us through, you know, those biological bits. This argument has been really developed since the development of, of the, the genome program and the, the idea that we can actually break into uh, genes through the DNA and understand on a much more fundamental level what makes us work and so then the extrapolation of that is who we are whether we're sort of straight, gay, don't like tomatoes, hate Vegemite but like Marmite, all that sort of thing can be found in our DNA and um, I don't think this 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 guy's actually backlashing against that, but but pointing up that the, the, these, these, this argument is probably even more relevant today than it, than it is or has been over the last uh, 20, 50 years. So this is sort of what you're focusing on in, in your assessment task, the construction of who and how you are. Now I'm happy for you to go, well, that's all bullshit and DNA is the determiner, that, that we aren't a blank slate, that we come through with biological information because I'm like my grandfather and I can see those traits that have come through. It's, it's always going to be you know, a bit either way, but it's an interesting debate to have. So this is how we're starting you off in the, the unit. Um, the rest of the stuff, okay, so you'll... Um, um, there'll be a tutor group discussion board and that's where you'll find the journals uh, what no sorry wrong information tutor group discussion board is where you will find your group and and who your tutor is the journals um uh, are down the bottom uh there's a button there uh, that says journal you'll go into that and you'll see that you will your tutor Will, the tutor's name will be there and you'll have the opportunity by pressing the button. Um, maybe, you reckon we can see this, David? Uh, so create journal. So you'll go in there 
um, if you're in say Anna's group you'll see journal for Anna's group and then it'll, then you go bang create a journal and that's where you'll write um, your your journal entries now these um, these are unmarked uh, in the sense that, that you're not going to be given a mark for each journal entry you do, they become your raw material. They become the basis on which the research basis, which is one of the, the, the important things that we need you to understand, that, that all of this sociology stuff that you're seeing here is the result of research that people like me have done. And what you'll be doing is a small research project on yourself. So those journal articles that, that you do on yourself will be the raw material for, in week eight, a reflective essay that you write, uh, summing up your assessment of what you think about the sociology of identity in relation to how you've seen yourself or how you've seen your understanding of yourself grow or not because you don't have to you don't have to get to that week out and go yeah well I have this revelation about how I am you can go well no I was I was I, I was reasonably well in tune with myself and I understand this um, I've understood myself to be this way um, most of my life and what the the different sort of social structures that that each of the topics has shown me has underlined my understanding. So there are, there are various ways of, of doing it. They're explained a little more in the, um, in the assessment task um, write-up I've done and it will be done with the computer, with the computers, with the tutors. They're not mechanic, they're not but they're not electronic, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, apropos of the tutors and how you will engage with them, um, there's a software we use. Now, okay, before I go there, you will be put, thanks. <laughs> so I'm going there and he's going there and back to here. But it's making it interesting for him, isn't it? Yes, good. All right. Um, now, um, you'll be put into groups. The purpose for those groups is so that you have a tutor who will guide you through the process. What we offer but don't necessarily compel you to do is to join in once a week for a tutorial in much the same way that, that we run tutorials on, on campus. Um, now you can do this. <laughs> Sorry, David. Um, we've got a um, piece of software called Illuminate. There's a little button there that says Illuminate. So under this um, Illuminate button here, you'll be taken to this page and it's simply a matter of clicking on this link here, which says Illuminate URL, bang. You do that, um, it opens up a session you put in your name um, and you log in and that login takes you then... Oh, I've got to put in a name, don't I? <laughs> I'm only here for my looks, folks. Uh, okay. Um, Yep, so that invites us to a meeting. That meeting thingy means that, hello, means that the software is setting itself up. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, so it's downloading the application. This is this will happen the first time for you. Um, it's a Java application. Sometimes it gets hiccupy if you don't have the latest Java it will probably ask you to download Java would that be right David probably yep so David the expert is saying that um, that that you'll be prompted if you haven't got the latest Java to to download that once that happens let's all sit back and have a relax while it happens or doesn't yep no no Okay, so yeah, this is just the clever Mac saying there's something coming in from the outside. Do you want it? And then, ah, oh, it's going to work. Because this is the first time I've done it this, this study period, which was very brave of me. And if I'm perfectly honest, I bug it up and we've edited that bit out. Um, so you agree to join the session. Um, and yes, you, you, they'll ask you whether you're a cable DSL or something else. We'll just go cable DSL, won't we? 
Yeah, because most of you, that's just referring to your internet connection. Um, you go OK and uh, this thing then is the software we use to run a tutorial. Uh, what this allows you to do is have at the very minimum, well at the very 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 minimum, um, text um, contact where you can you can type in, you can chat um, uh, with text, but um, which you do in there, um, but the, the good thing that this allows you to do is, is when you're in the tutorial uh, you get to talk to the tutors. So there's a microphone and we can even have video. Um, uh, I think most of the tutors are happy to do video so in, in effect, not in fact, you will be in a tutorial environment where you can see the other people, where you can see the tutor and when, where you can actually talk. And, and have a discussion. It's, I mean, the clunky thing about it is that you talk one at a time. Um, you can't all talk at once, but it, it works quite effectively. We've, we've, this is the second time we'll, we'll run this and it's, and it's very successful. It's getting as close as we can in sort of this limited sense um, um, that we're not having big flash video conferencing. It's getting as close as we can to running uh, a live tutorial. Now, those tutorials, like I was saying earlier, are, are advisory, not compulsory. Yeah, oh, hello, Heather. Oh, sorry, Heather's you... come to visit. <laughs> That's all right. Come in. Have you? Oh, Heather's bringing a chair. Yeah. Heather's bringing a chair for my new partner in crime in the room. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to say, say hello? Say, say, this is Hi everybody. <laughs> Hi <Mom. laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So you're not going, well, I think this and I think that because the book told me. You know, you, what you're doing is, is telling me that in the research, um, this, that and the other thing has been said and this, that and the other thing is, is important in relation to the question because it, it sets out these parameters about the social world. You might also say, and there is also another literature that contradicts this, but, but this is only a minor contradiction and the great volume of the literature actually uh, agrees with the contention in the question. And so what you're doing is building up an argument based on essentially reporting what you've read, not telling me what you think. And that's, that's maybe one of the basic traps that, that new academic writers come up against. It's, it's the notion of being able to write about something that you've discovered but that you've discovered through the literature. You've not actually discovered it yourself, but you're constructing it in a way that is particular to you. So this is, is really you creating new knowledge in a sense, but what you're doing is you're reconstructing knowledge in your particular way. So your essay is your essay, um, but the important thing in writing an essay is to, to write about the literature and the research you've done, not to write about your opinion. You're, what you're doing is you're constructing the research in a persuasive way. You're not telling me what you think. So the writing, the writing skills and tips will help that. There's also um, uh, a library button and a library research button and, and that, uh, the library research PDF in particular, will take you through it's it's actually a library tutorial and it's it's in PDF form so then you'll download oh that was quick it's a Mac see that's why it's so quick um, uh, the library tutorial PDF tutorial takes you through the process of searching the library uh, both the book collection and the database how are we going for time is this all right, good. Okay, I probably <laughs> I shouldn't be asking David. I should be asking you. You're getting bored yet? Um, I'm getting a sense that I'm probably going on a bit long, but this is going to be the this is the problem with me. I talk too much. Um, so anyway, the the library PDF will take you through the search the the research process which you'll be using. Um, what we've asked you to do uh, in the the two other pieces of work you do, which are the academic essays, and that's the academic writing I was referring to uh, just a couple of minutes ago, we want you to use specific um, texts. We want you to use the, the, the textbook, uh, plus the other, um, uh, a, a set of sociology texts um, that we've nominated, plus a couple of others of your own, um, partly because well, I should say, if you go to a library, um, particularly a university library, and you look along the shelves at 3.0 something or other, hang on, 3.01, um, you will find a whole bunch of, of big fat books that have sociology written on the spine. They're good for first year for the sort of stuff you want to do. And so we've suggested that you use this and two others big fat books with sociology written on them as, as your basic reference material and then you can supplement it with a couple of other big fat books with sociology written on it or stuff from the database which are journal articles. Um, two reasons we've done this. One, it makes it uh, well the information in, in these texts are, are much more straightforward and it's so easier for you to digest at this stage and two, to be perfectly honest, we get a lot of plagiarism these days, and plagiarism comes in two form, two two forms in the sort of modern era, if you like. It's not just copying your mate's work um, anymore. Um, cutting and pasting, so going to to the internet, putting in the question, finding some stuff, cutting that, pasting it into your essay, and not acknowledging it as as somebody else's work. Very bad. Uh, worse still, people will go and buy essays from websites and just plonk them in and go, well, ha, that's my work. Um, in, in all cases, we know and we can tell. Um, and it's very rare that something slips through and it's, it's, it's serious. Um, 
the vice chancellor, that's the boss of Monash University, a few years ago got the sack for plagiarising. Um, that was science, but plagiarism happens across um, the whole university. Um, um, what am I saying? Disciplines. Um, so, uh, what we want to see are is evidence that, that you've done your own work and to protect you from the dangers of plagiarising because if a vice-chancellor can get the sack, students can ultimately be, be barred from, from the course for it's essentially cheating. So they're, they're sort of the two reasons that, that we've, we've done it in, in that way. Um, now, Finally, okay, finally, and this was the thing I forgot in the beginning. We're, we're here to help you through this early stage of, of your, your university career. We hope your university career. Um, one of the, the things that, that I want at the end of this process is for you to get to week 12 or week 13 saying, I, f I now feel confident about what I can do. I now feel confident that I can deal with a university course at a reasonably successful level. It doesn't have to be at the highest level, but if, you're getting, get, if you get to the end of the course and you go, yeah, I feel confident, that's great. In, in light of that, we, we, we're reasonably supportive about how we deal with you. We understand that you've got a life and a, and, and, and a whole world um, going on outside this, this course. We understand that this course isn't necessarily the primary focus of your life but that it's something that you've committed to and that, that we have some expectations that, that you're going to to do your best but if things happen we understand so get in touch with us and let us know if if something's going on that's going to impede your progress or make you late with assignments because we're we're pretty open to 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 dealing with that sort of stuff we don't have a problem with that just let us know uh, the other thing is that the for the first essay in particular, I don't like to let a fail stand. If you've buggered it up, if you haven't done a good job um, for various reasons, because it's new to you, because life was going on around you, um, because um, you're just not familiar with the process, we're going to give you sufficient feedback in that first essay in particular, although you get sufficient feedback in all of them, to allow you to rewrite it and resubmit it. So at the very least, we want you to, to get a pass, you know, that is 50% for the first assignment. Uh, it, so if you, if you do fail and we give you the opportunity to, to resubmit it, it'll be, it'll be remarked, providing it's good enough, remarked to, to a 50%, just to be fair on everybody else. Um, but it strikes me that, that you're not going to learn anything by getting an essay back that's a fail. You go, oh, well, I can't, I'm useless at this, I'll, this I'll wander off. If you get an opportunity to see what you've got done wrong and you can go back over it and correct that, that strikes me as learning something. And in that, in that sense, it's going to be a, a much more useful process than just just failing an essay and being told to do better the next time. So that's the support we're going to give apart from all the, the, the normal sort of teaching stuff that we do. Uh, and we hope that by week 13, as I said earlier, you get there confident and sort of relaxed and comfortable. Ooh, no, I don't want to talk. I don't want to do a John Howard, do I? Um, but essentially, yeah, we do. We want you to be relaxed and comfortable with yourself and your your ability to to succeed later on so with that in mind i wish you all good luck i congratulate you on getting to the end of this long rant and um, i'll uh, i'll see you in the um, in the lectures through one to twelve and maybe hear from some of you on the phone see you later this has been a swinburne production Thank you.